We're such peacocks. We look at how official it looks rather than some real currency from someone who actually has some real money. Rex has more money than the United States. Bam. I'm not 30 trillion in debt. If you don't have it on you, you don't have it. Period. Rex, did you see the news? What news? I don't know. Like I had to I was trying to dig out of the snow all day yesterday digging out of the snow. And then I was reading stuff that's important to me with the rest of the time I had. I didn't see the news. Rex, the banks are collapsing. There's guys trying to get their Federal Reserve notes out of the Federal Reserve like a uh, protected institution and the federal reserve ain't even giving them all their federal reserve notes back they're saying you only get 250,000 of these things instead of all of them it's happening people it's going down man it's happening welcome it's good to have you here on rex reviews all right common sense is extinct whose pictures on here man it's Ben. Look at him. Do you know this guy? It says Federal Reserve note. That's who, this is their thing. Well, it's not even legal tender. I know. But it's Federal Reserve note. It says, it says right on it whose it is. If they want their Federal Reserve notes and you're playing the Monopoly game of Federal Reserve notes, which we all do, right? Because it's convenient. However, then you're subject to the monopoly game rules, right? And if you have Federal Reserve notes and they want them back, guess what? They make the damn rules. Morally, they own it. You subjected yourself to it when you leaned on this too much, okay? The second I get these things, like I had to scrounge the house to find this. Because normally, I like... I put it into actual things that I own, like the dirt. I buy dirt with this. More dirt, please. Land. Do you own that all the way? <laughs> you see this? I'm in a particular deal to where this is not actually like permanent ownership here. Because this is not between a certain river and a certain country that I am promised to get at some point, maybe, right? through citizenship there, that's the land that a guy would own. See the promised land, we're all trying to get to the promised land, that's your actual home. This freaking area is just a camp. This is the Rex camp, it's not the Rex property. Yes, I'm trying to make it as much secure of a camp as possible here. And I give them, the second I get Federal Reserve notes, I'm like, here, put this into the Rex camp. Cause this is your property too, isn't it? Property tax, right? Rex, the taxes are terrible. Yeah, see, Yeshua, Jesus got asked that question 2,000 years ago. The Romans are trying to take our money. He's like, your money? What do you mean your money? The money I gave you guys was apples and almond trees and like cattle and sheep. That's what I gave you guys for money. Wood, talent, services, love, you know, like being able to do things to help people. As a service, he didn't give us this freaking system. He gave us the system of, he gives us everything we need. It grows out of the dirt. That's why I use this to grab as much dirt as possible so I can practice for my actual property. Maybe I'll get one day and then we'll all plant vineyards together and we'll all like have like building houses out in the country. Like read the book. It tells us that that's, Rex, I wonder what heaven's like. It tells you what it's like. So we actually get to own property on earth. And you don't, you know, he fixes stuff. He fixes it. But right now, dude, you have to realize that this is Benjamin Franklin's money or Federal Reserve Bank or whatever, right? Like, apparently they bought rights to his name. I, did you know that these guys are mobsters and they play by mobster rules? They don't even keep their own commandments, right? Why would you lean on a splintered rod given to you by guys that don't even keep their own rules. They don't keep his commandments. They don't keep theirs either, man. Surprise, surprise. 
it is time for a sip of this delicious deliciousness. Tell you what, man. Like, why are people surprised when this stuff fails or when they don't play by the rules? Shouldn't be surprised. It's like the second you get this thing, like you should you should get something that you can actually, you know, possess. Or use it to further hey, how about this? You can turn this into knowledge and wisdom by gaining experience, by expending, you know, by using it on resources that they, nobody can steal from you. If I use this to go find the guy on the mountain who knows how to swing uh, samurai swords, right? And then I sit up there for like a year because I gave him a bunch of these things because he likes them. And then he teaches me that. Nobody can take my knowledge away from me. Even that, Like there's no way to steal that from me. If I take this and I learn how to play piano, I go to the piano lady. I'm like, lady, do you like this thing? Oh, I love it. It's a Federal Reserve note. It's my favorite thing ever. Here you go, lady. Teach me the piano. Okay. You're going to learn how to play the piano. Nobody can steal that from you. Can take this down the mechanic. Be like, hey, man, like show me how to like rebuild the heads on this uh, Ford small block. Really? Yeah. Just like here's a hundred bucks. I want a quick lesson. Yeah, sure. Hang around the shop today. Cool. Thanks, man. Now you have a skill nobody can steal from you. Old school wisdom, man. Can people steal metals from you? Let's say I buy gold and silver. They can absolutely swipe that right out of your hands. Because they don't follow their commandments. They don't follow his commandments. They're thieves. Right? So gold and silver, I mean, that's probably what the Almighty intended to be a trading item because it's so shiny and it doesn't corrode, right? And it's useful for certain things, right? But like the truth of the matter is we're in a fallen world. This is the fallen world currency, man. And it's his pictures on here. Rex, we ought to quit paying taxes. It's not, that's not what Jesus said. That's not what Yeshua t told us. Whose picture is on that coin? Caesar. Well, then what are you bitching about? You're playing Caesar's game. You are the one that played Caesar's Monopoly game. Don't come crying to me when, he, when you don't like Monopoly. I don't like Monopoly anymore. You can't, you can't just play Monopoly and then not, you know, adhere to the rules. That's, that's Monopoly money. It says Monopoly on it. You're playing Monopoly. You're the one playing the game. It's like kids complaining to Papa about the game that they volunteered to play, you know, and like, hey man, that's not, I don't even know what your kids are doing. You do whatever you want. When you got there, go bell. Can I see? It's a little brown guy. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, I'm drinking this. Oh, I'm supposed to, I forgot. It's a red one. Yep. Chocolate raspberry. Yeah, put that back. Crayon eater coffee, man. That's why I'm so sweaty. Forgive me for that. Whew. Okay. I usually try to time it before the bad part of this kicks in, and I go legitimately cuckoo. Okay. You want to? Oh, you want to show it off? That's pretty weird. I did not stage that. He likes the bags. I know. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, hey, I'm trying to work turkey. It's a coffee cup. It's a coffee. Huh? I know. Well, he likes the colors, see? If you know someone who eats crayons, like, do you guys know any Marines? Bunch of Neanderthal crayon-eating fools, man. If you know one of those guys and you want to make fun of them and then ramp them up on stuff to make them all, you know, that like to observe them and what he does, like, you can get your favorite crayon eater, these. I'm not a crayon eater. I'm trying to work up and live up to that legend by eating my own crayons in my own way. But if you know someone who's an actual, legitimate, like, hard-earned, crayon-eating, like, Neanderthal, like some kind of army guy or some Marine, particularly Marines, you can put crayons on their birthday cake when it's their birthday and see if they try eating them or lighting them, or you can just get them this coffee, okay? So I'll leave a link below. Little guy, it's funny. How about this one? You guys want to join my money? Look at this. Federal Reserve note. So you, like, 
Here's the concept, guys. This is a little bit of old school wisdom for you. If you, because this looks so damn official, look, there's a blue thing on it that authenticates it. Oh, that proves that this is real money. There's a blue shiny thing. Just put up, hey guys, these people don't think this is real money. Put some blue shiny things on there and then just go, look at how square it is. Look, it's printed on really nice paper. Look, it's got some weird ink on it. It's really official looking, isn't it? You want to play our game called the Federal Reserve, huh? It's real official. You want to be really official like us? The mobsters who made this? Oh, yes, Mr. Mobster. This seems very official. What are you, do what are you doing? A turtle. He's got to have a conversation while I'm working, right? He doesn't understand the concept yet. I know. Hey, can you watch your show? Here, take this money. Uh, I don't want it anymore. Chocolate. Look at look at that. Go buy some candy, kid. You want my money? How about this? Candy. Here's my money. Look at how official this one is, guys. Look. It's all official. I got the seal. It's protected by the freaking ninja owl power. Because, like, I'm, I base this based on the Federal Reserve now, right? So I got my super ninja owl power up here in the one corner to kind of prove, like, hey, man, we're connected to, you know, the secrets, the secret societies, man. And then I got my super turbo pyramid. What is this? The heathen, heathen pyramid power is on here. See, if I put a bunch of official things on here that are, like, old school, like, hey, man, this is official as the heathen pyramid, right? How about that? Oh, man. This is a billion, trillion, zillion Hooter notes. Because the owl. Can you spend it at Hooters? Probably. I've never been to one of those places. You know, I've actually, seriously, I've never actually been into one of those places before. Never been to where they have people without clothes in the bar. Not that I'm aware of anyways. Never noticed. I mean, like I did go, oh, thank you. I did go to the, uh, Marina one time, that was highly distracting. I'm just trying to, like, eat a sandwich. I'm like, what the hell's going on in this marina bar? <clears throat> so that's the closest I've been. And, but this refers to the power, the heathen power of the owl, see? And then I got Rex's picture on here, which proves it's mine. So do you guys want to volunteer to join my, my club? And see, like, do you, like, look at how official this is. There's the, here's the messed up part, guys. Here's the messed up part. I actually have more money than they do. Do you guys do math? Do you understand what negative numbers are? That means it's below zero. Did you know that things like numbers like one is a bigger number than negative 30 trillion? Actually, I got 100. Did you know that 100 is greater than negative 30 trillion in math? But Rex, they're really official looking. This proves of how much peacocks we are. We're such peacocks. We look at how official it looks rather than some real currency from someone who actually has some real money. Rex has more money than the United States. Bam. I'm not 30 trillion in debt. I have a hundred bucks. I found it. Plus I have a silver coin. <laughs> That's actually worth something. I'm not 30 trillion dollars in debt. I have a few debts from hospital bills. I'm paying them off as quickly as possible, man. But it is not $30 trillion. I'm richer than these guys. But because of our peacock nature, we must serve them. We must play their Monopoly game. They look official. Yeah, just continue to play that game. Continue to go to the heathen church. Continue to participate in the freaking flashy, shiny, nice square corners, tucked in shirt bullshit. Mine has an authenticator too. See, they got a little blue stripe, the shiny on here to prove how authentic it is. Like, oh man, it's not, well, I got one too. Look at that. This is, this proves that it's real. I authorized this and sealed the deal with the formal proof cap from when I drank the Sam Adams beer. When I made this note, right? So I drank the Sam Adams beer. I taped it on here. See? So, like, now you can... Hold on. You're trying to buy a Tootsie Roll at the gas station, Rex. Hold it up in the light. Yep. Oh, it's authentic. 
It's pretty official looking. Well, how about mine? I have more money than these guys. Oh shit, I can see it through the sunlight. The proof cap is on it. So, you guys want to do a currency exchange? These guys are 30 trillion in debt, right? So how about I trade you this one trillion billion zillion dollar note for suitcases full of these things? You'd actually be better off. That's the funny thing. You would be better off to trade me this for 30 trillion of these things if you're going to lean on the splintered rod. That's the lesson. You are choosing to lean on a splintered rod of Pharaoh, of Babylon. They are, we're going to freaking like, they're not giving us their Federal Reserve notes. They can't even keep their own Federal Reserve notes. I mean, the, the, the Federal Reserve is private. But not really, are they? They're in cahoots, see? They're in cahoots with the... What's, what god is this they trust, you think? You see, there are many gods. It says, thou shall have no other gods in front of me. Which one is this, you think? Hmm? What's this building? Independence Hall. Independent from what exactly? Independent from his wisdom? Independent from his rules? Independent from his commandments? And his system saying you can't go into debt? I don't think you're so independent there, Mr. Independence Frickin' Hall. What's that? Chocolate raisins. You want chocolate raisins? Now see, that's legitimate. Take your Federal Reserve notes. Look at the wisdom of a child. Take your Federal Reserve notes. Go down to where they love this thing here. And then, like, say, hey, man, do you like this? Oh, that's your favorite, Rex. Ah, cool. You know what? That's my favorite? Chocolate raisins. It's really hard for me to grow raisins where I'm at. Plus, chocolate's really hard for me to grow. Plus, it's delicious and nutritious. I'll trade this for a huge pile of chocolate raisins. I could probably buy a lot of chocolate raisins with this, right? Like, more than I could probably eat for a long time. Trade this in for some chocolate raisins put on the shelf. Now you actually have real value. And once you eat it, nobody can take it away from you, man. <laughs> you understand the concept? Quit leaning on a splintered rod. It's, it's not hyperbole. This has more value than this. Because this is based on the trust of Rex, who is in less debt than these freaking clowns right here. Right? Less debt than these clowns. Uh, let's see, let me just pick something real quick. Uh, what's this based on, though? See, it's got to be based on something. Okay, there's pine cones on that pine tree right there. I have one pine tree in the yard. So you get a share of the pine cones in my yard when you have this. This is worth a trillion, billion, zillion hooters, right? That are, which is, you know, denoting how many pine cones are in my yard that the owl knocked off. I mean, like, might as well be what the hell is, wh what do they say? It's based on national trust. Uh-oh. National trust? Trust to do what exactly? To trample the earth? Spreading all the weird stuff from Michael Jackson and beyond to the earth with army tanks? National trust? Is that what you mean by that? What do you mean by national trust? To enslave your grandchildren even more? To give a bunch of mobster... He's turning my chair. A bunch of mobster politicians... More mansions? Okay, man. Hey, what are you doing? You turned my chair towards you? I'm going to actually spend some treasured time with another treasure, okay? That that time that I spend with another treasure, you, they can't take that time away that I spend with him. How about that? See, I'm a rich man, and they're broke. My freaking money's worth more than theirs. <laughs> If you like this kind of old school wisdom, um, catch us on Patreon.
doing exit the matrix join real life it's infinity resolution in here people you can do it <laughs> <laughs> 